Fragria and Anasa. Allium sativum. Pisum sativum. Allium sepa. Brassica oleracea. Also Brassica oleracea. And Brassica oleracea. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we turn confusion into knowledge. And today's episode is all about plant names. Or more specifically, common names versus the scientific ones. What's the difference? Hey, time short as always, let's get into it. Every living thing that's been discovered and classified on the planet has been given a name. Some things, more than one. On the one hand, we have common names, like time. On the other hand, we have the Latin or scientific name, Timus vulgaris. So which one of these is right? Well, they both are. Common names are usually descriptive in nature, which makes them sensible. But they can also be confusing when more than one common name is attributed to the same organism. It's not unheard of for a plant or animal to have two, three, or even four different common names, adding to the confusion. Think about it. Cilantro or coriander? Zucchini or summer squash? There's tons of examples. With scientific names, however, that confusion doesn't exist. Although they can be sometimes hard to pronounce due to their Latin origins, all plants and animals each only have one scientific name. Split into two, the scientific name consists of the genus first, followed by the species. Officially written in italics with only the genus capitalized, scientific names can also be descriptive, although their main function is to classify and organize. Pretty interesting stuff. Know what else is interesting? These guys keeping my peppers free of aphids and the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.